Have you ever wondered what would happen if Earth became uninhabitable? It's a chilling thought, isn't it? An unpredictable cocktail of climate change, nuclear warfare, or even a catastrophic natural disaster could push our beloved blue planet over the edge, rendering it unfit for human life. Imagine the rising tide swallowing our coastal cities, the once lush green forests turning to barren wastelands, or even the air we breathe turning against us. It's a future no one wants to imagine, yet it's a possibility we must confront. The ticking clock of our planet's health intensifies the urgency of finding a solution. Our very survival hinges on our ability to adapt and overcome. Yet amid this bleak landscape, a beacon of hope may shine. Picture a world not too dissimilar from our own, a planet teeming with life, a second chance for humanity. But what if there was another planet out there, just like Earth? Imagine a world, not so different from ours, where we could start anew. A tantalizing proposition, isn't it? This isn't a mere platitude or science fiction, but a tangible goal that our brightest minds have been diligently working towards. In our quest for a new home, scientists have been scanning the vast cosmos, meticulously searching for planets with conditions that mirror our own. This search, though daunting, is not without hope. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Our universe is teeming with planets, billions upon billions of them, each with the potential of harboring life as we know it. Let's take a moment to appreciate the sheer enormity of this task. Imagine seeking a single grain of sand in all the beaches of Earth. It's a daunting task, yet our scientists are undeterred. They've developed ingenious methods to identify potential Earth-like planets, or exoplanets, as they're often called. One such method involves observing a star and looking for a slight dimming in its light. This dimming could signal an exoplanet passing in front of the star, much like an eclipse. By observing these transits, scientists can estimate the size of the planet and distance from its star. Another method involves detecting the slight wobble of a star. This wobble could indicate the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. By studying this wobble, scientists can infer the mass and orbit of the planet. These methods have led to some thrilling discoveries. Planets like Proxima Centauri b and Kepler 452b, both located in the habitable zone of their respective stars, where conditions might be just right for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Yet, the search continues, each day brings us closer to finding a new home among the stars, a place where humanity can begin a new chapter in its cosmic journey. And then, a breakthrough occurred. The day that changed everything, the discovery of a new Earth. A moment in time that will forever be etched in our collective memories, the day we found another home in the vast expanse of the cosmos. The discovery was not sudden, not an overnight revelation. It was a culmination of years of meticulous work countless hours spent scanning the skies, analyzing data and testing hypotheses. The scientists, our modern-day explorers, were on a quest not for gold or new lands but for a planet, a planet that could be a second Earth. And then it happened. Nestled in what we call the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold, but just right, they found it. A planet similar to our own. A place that could potentially harbor life, a place that could be our future home. This new planet, this new Earth, is located in a distant galaxy light years away from our own. It shares many characteristics with our home planet. It's about the same size as Earth, it has a stable orbit around its star, and it even has a similar climate. The presence of water, the elixir of life, has also been confirmed. These conditions make it a prime candidate for life as we know it. But it's not just the physical characteristics that make this discovery so exciting. It's the possibilities, the potential for life, for a new beginning. The idea of a planet where life could exist, where we could exist, is a beacon of hope, a promise of a future. This new Earth offers a chance for us to start anew, to build a society that learns from the mistakes of the past, a society that values sustainability and harmony with nature. It's a chance for us to become better, to become a species that not only survives but thrives. Yet, this new Earth is not within our reach, not yet. It's situated light years away, a distance that seems insurmountable with our current technology. The question then becomes, not if, but how. But how can we reach this new planet? A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, but this journey is a little bit longer. Now, let's talk about the journey. The journey to our new home is not going to be a walk in the park. It's a daunting task, one that will test the very limits of human ingenuity and perseverance. Space travel as we know it, is fraught with challenges. 
The vast distances, the hostile environment, the isolation, these are but a few of the hurdles we need to overcome. But don't let these challenges dissuade you. We've always been explorers, pioneers, venturing into the unknown. We've crossed oceans, scaled mountains, and even set foot on the moon. This is just the next step, the next frontier. To meet these challenges, we're going to need to push the envelope of what's possible. Our technology will need to evolve, to adapt. We'll need faster, more efficient propulsion systems. We'll need habitats that can sustain us for the long journey. We'll need ways to protect ourselves from the hazards of space, from radiation to microgravity. Already we're making strides in these areas. Breakthroughs in propulsion technology are making faster space travel a reality. We're developing new materials and construction methods for our habitats, making them more durable and efficient. We're researching new ways to shield ourselves from radiation and to counteract the effects of microgravity on our bodies. In the face of these challenges, we're not just surviving, we're thriving, we're innovating, we're adapting, we're evolving. We're not just overcoming these hurdles, we're using them as stepping stones, as catalysts for progress. This journey is more than just a voyage to a new home. It's a testament to our spirit, to our resilience. It's a testament to what we can achieve when we put our minds to it. It's a testament to our capacity for exploration, for discovery, for innovation. We are on the brink of a new era of human history. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. The journey to our new home is just the first step in a much larger journey, a journey into the future, a journey into the vast expanse of the cosmos. Welcome to our new home. Bask in the glow of an alien sun as we stand on the cusp of a new era. Picture vast landscapes untouched by human activity, waiting patiently for the seeds of life to be sown. This is our second chance, a fresh canvas upon which we can paint the portrait of a sustainable future. Our new earth, unlike the one we left behind, is not marred by scars of pollution, deforestation or climate change. Here, we have the opportunity to learn from our past to not repeat the mistakes that led to the downfall of our original home. We can harness the power of clean, renewable energy, ensuring that our activities do not cast a shadow on the pristine beauty of this new planet. Imagine cities that blend seamlessly with nature, where skyscrapers are not just towers of glass and steel, but living ecosystems teeming with greenery. Transportation is silent and clean, powered by renewable energy. Farms are not vast monocultures that drain the soil of its nutrients, but diverse biospheres that work in harmony with the environment. Education would emphasize the importance of sustainability, teaching future generations to respect and care for their surroundings. Technology, instead of being a tool for exploitation, would be used to enhance and preserve the natural world. We could foster a society that values cooperation and unity, where the welfare of the planet and its inhabitants is prioritized.